Okay. Um, there's a couple other things that you guys can, you, you know, you, you can consider here. Um, if you decide that you want to get fancy, you can change the logo. You can change the Kaseya to be your own uh, icon. You can change the wording at the top of the screen. You can even change the icons, the little K's that are down in the corner. Those can all be customized, and you're going to do that by going to uh, customize either color scheme or site customization is where you change the um, the logo and the agent icons. But, you know, I'd wait for that. You know, I wouldn't get too fancy too quickly, uh, learn a little bit about the system, but just, just wanted you to know that you can do that. And the last thing I want to tell you on this screen is um, outbound email. There is the ability to change the outbound email. The default is SAS2 at Kaseya.net, and honestly, I would leave it at that as long as you're sending those alerts only to you. Now, if you decide you want to start sending reports from Kaseya directly to a customer, you're probably going to want to change this and make it your domain, you know, support at or help at or whatever, so that they don't see this, you know, SAS2 at Kaseya.net and wonder what the heck it is. But in the meantime, I would just leave it alone uh, because you'll know that that's a message from the SAS2 server when you get an alert.